So my name is Nick. I'm an EMT at Five Quad Volunteer Ambulance Service. So Five Quad is a volunteer ambulance service for the for the College of SUNY Albany, and they respond to EMS calls for students and for off campus as long as you're a student. So we're located behind Service Building A, and when you see the garage bay doors, that's where you can guess the ambulances are behind, or maybe they're in front of, depending on the time of day. But that's where the office is, so you'd have to go into the courtyard, courtyard right before it, and the doors has got five quad on it. We have a record of like 900 calls a year, and we're out of service a quarter of the year, so that's pretty good for a collegiate EMS agency. I'm the operations officer, so I'm mainly in charge of the rigs, the maintenance and whatnot around the office, and mainly it's like a, a mechanic for them. So today I, we have a driver, a crew chief, which is myself, uh, then there's two attendants. We have an LOD, which is a lieutenant on duty. He's in the office right now, so he's above me, but he's also the same guy who's going to be training the mitts later. The, to apply to 5 Quad, you have to do an a application on our website. After that, if you get picked to be a MIT, which is a member in training, you have to go through what's called a CPR first aid weekend, which is the first training we do with them. And it's you get CPR certified and first aid certified. Stand directly over the patient, do compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute, and do it at a ratio of three compressions for two minutes. Allow for full chest recoil and push hard and fast. Perfect. We hope the, the members become go on to become EMTs to become more at this uh, organization and to help other people, but it's not a requirement. It's just as long as you're here, you know, helping out, that's all that we ask. So tonight's one of our training days, and it's going to be the Reeves, the stair chair, CPR, and then bleeding in O2. So the mitts get broken down into four different groups, and then each group goes to a different station, and after about 45 minutes or so, the station switch whenever the uh, teacher crew chief is uh, done teaching and after that the mitts the mitts will be able to be taught it they will be able to practice it out during that 45 minutes and then they switch to the next station after all the four stations are done they get back together as one group the uh, crew chiefs go over what went wrong what went well things to improve on and whatnot and then the new member trainer which is the one in charge of training the mitts uh, says any last final words and they go home there's no requirements. Um, as long as you interview well, you could have no experience in EMS at all. You could n not even want to go into EMS as a career, or a lot of them want to be doctors or medics or paramedics or into the civil service. That gen tends to be the theme now. I like the people that I spend time with here because, again, it's a family. You become very close with these people. You spend hours and weeks with them. So We won an award two years ago for being the best collegiate EMS agency in the country. So we go to it's, it's, uh, this conference called NEMSEF. We have a number of trophies from, the, from that uh, in our office. So in EMS, there's a saying that says, the day you know everything is the day you should quit. Even paramedics who've been doing this for 30 years don't know everything. And the, the, the saying goes, if you know everything, you should quit now because you're not going to learn anything else. There's always time to learn. There's always things to learn. And everything's different. That's what I like about this place.